Hey guys, what's up? It's Onchi here, doing a first 20 of a new interesting looking game I've never heard of called Super Daryl Deluxe. If you are new to first 20, I am going to be playing a game that I have never played before, in this case never heard of before. I have looked at screenshots and a trailer. It looks pretty, looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to play strictly the first 20 minutes of the game. I've got a timer set, and it's gonna, it's gonna go loud. It's gonna go loud once it's done. So, let's give it a try. 20 minutes. I'm gonna hit new game, new save file. All right, let's start it. This game does not auto save. Make sure to visit the bathroom often. Uh oh. We've been so spoiled these days with all the auto save games. All right, let's give it a shot. So the developer is called Dan and Gary Games. I want to say thank you to those guys for letting us try their game. A game they tried their very best. Just gunshots? The jig is up, Detective Daryl. The trench coat kid. Am I a detective? We got your woman. We got your textbooks. It's all over for you. Not so fast, trench coat. Detective Allen, okay. If that is your real name. Oh my god. You're under arrest for breaking the law. It's your jig that's about to be up. We'll see whose jig is up when you're busy dying. Oh, what? Oh my god, the princess. You won't get away with this. Detective Daryl is a big, strong man who isn't afraid of thugs like you. Keep it up and you'll be joining Detective Allen. See you in hell, Detective Daryl. <laughs> what? <coughs> yeah, I actually had to cough, but <laughs> that works. Looks like my jig is <coughs> just about toast, buddy. I really thought we had him this time. <laughs> No use standing around watching me bleed out in this cold, dark alleyway. <coughs> Go get your woman back! Just promise me you'll tell mine <coughs> that I won't be home for <coughs> Chicken Wing Wednesday. <coughs> Aww. <laughs> I love this running animation. It's so good. Alright, move duck. What? Look at this ducking animation. Bees jump, okay. Whoa! Are those bananas? So each of these has a cooldown. Interesting. Oh, wow. I feel like this would be more comfortable if it was ZR and not ZL, but I'd probably get used to it. Skills have cooldowns. Chain skills together to attack efficiently. Dang, this is kind of hard. Okay. Nice. Am I getting their money? I am. L. All right. What? Huh? Hey, you best buddy! Oh, jeez. Octopole! What? How are you doing? No need to be so gray. Don't you worry about what happened to Detective Allen. You were always my favorite. Oh my god. I know. How about some textbooks to get your mind off of it? What is he doing? Wow, we giving you textbooks sure is tiring. Don't worry, buddy. There's more coming soon. Is he a bad guy? He looks evil. He's trying to kill me with those textbooks.
Oh my god! Uh oh, buddy, here comes more of them! Don't worry, how about some textbooks? Oh, the dash damages them! Wait, don't leave yet! I was just about to promote you! How does Super Detective sound? This is weird! You want your woman back, Detective Daryl? Well, she's mine until my jig is up. And right now, my jig is all the way up here! Come and get her, Detective Daryl. Let's look in the locker. Let's see. Oh, we can get different skills. Thank God. Faux pow. Instantly toss all enemies around you into the air. Well, what level am I right now? Combustible con Confutation, Chapter 2. Surrounded by things you despise, use the art of fire to push them away. And burn them too, I guess. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Sharp comments. Swings a sword. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Nothing says, oh shit, like an enemy about to be pummeled by a giant heavy thing on a stick. Haha. <laughs> Launch an orb of electric murder out of your chest like a real man. Press again to detonate early if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, I love the humor in this game. Um, I want the sword. Let's try that out. Let's try this out. Oh, we have different slides forward. Teleports. I want to try the slide. Oh, wait, what? has its own too. Oh yeah, R was the kick that I was using earlier. Dang. Hard to play. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to play. Oh, nice. Interesting. If you hold A, he, or if you hold B, he just keeps jumping. Too slow, Detective. Maybe next time, if your jig lasts that long. What does this do for me? Oh, it's literally just a book floating in the air? Alright. I thought, <laughs> Daryl. 
I thought I would uh, get something out of that, maybe. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Let's just get away in here. Depository of Doom. Zar Bomba? This is where the jig ends, Detective Daryl. It's just you, me, your woman, all your textbooks, and this empty room full of dynamite. Turn around, and I won't have to blow you and your books straight to the moon, but take another step, and the woman gets it. Don't listen to him, Daryl. He's serious. Oh my god, he shot me. No! Well, that takes care of Detective Daryl. You have to get up, Detective Daryl. Do it for me. <laughs> get up, Daryl. Do it for all of us. The power of friendship must overcome the power of evil. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so awesome. No, what's happening? The power of friendship is rejuvenating him. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Your jig isn't up just yet. This can't be! My plans are ruined! Oh my god! Detective Daryl, you're alive! You did it, pal. Now solve this case like the detective you are. So this is how it is, huh? I should have known that the mighty Detective Daryl couldn't be stopped by mere bullets alone. A round of old-fashioned fisticuffs it is! I don't mind killing you in front of your woman a second time. But you better hurry because this place is about to blow sky high. Oh man. I'm gonna die! Fire! Error? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna die. Okay. Take that trench coat, you can't beat Detective Daryl. I don't have to. This place is about to blow, destroying you and all your textbooks. And I ain't gonna stick around to watch it happen. Good luck getting your woman out in time, Detective Daryl. You did it, Detective Daryl. Quick, untie me before this building explodes. Oh my god. You're my hero, Detective Daryl. So big and strong. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies? Ooh. I do Darryl? like cookies. Are <laughs> Daryl. Listening to me? Are you <laughs> listening to me? Oh my god. Daryl. Daryl. Hey! Have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time, for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. Is he in prison? And now, and now it is, it is my honor to proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. 
Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every club and sport on campus. Clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award last spring, the first of its kind in the country. Their service and charity to the Water Falls community is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. From single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, to successfully converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. Oh, geez. Surely, one can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Ken Hangerman to move us all once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what you have to say on this joyous occasion. All right. Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent and I couldn't have done it all without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Please give yourselves a hand. Why am I watching this? <laughs> What a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today, and all we've yet to do tomorrow. I think we can really change the world, Eli. Think how far this momentum can take us. It's a new chapter, Kent. Especially with every top college on Earth begging for our attendance. You know, I was serious about what I said at graduation. Which part? The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we had never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. <laughs> cured seasonal we allergies? Whatever we wish to reach. I've been thinking. Hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, hold on. It's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately, and my findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. We've already proven we can help people help themselves locally. Just imagine what we could achieve if we employed the paramount tool for reaching the masses. Self-help, huh? What a novel idea. A book that helps people help each other through helping themselves. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Ah, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. Man, this seems so long. Small steps. What are they going on yeah, and on about? Staircase. Yeah. Our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. Gosh, you know, Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. A smooth, gliding escalator. Okay. Who are those guys, and <laughs> why do I care about their future dreams? Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Daryl Whitelaw. My name is Mr. Roboto, and I am Mr. Roboto. <laughs> As you know, Demo Arigato. High School is the finest school in the state. We pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students for you to use at your disposal. 
If you ever need help, do not be afraid to reach out to any of your peers or faculty. Of course, Dang, that's how long I've just been sitting here waiting. One priority. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. To ensure your success, we have designed a screen actually went dark for a second. Oh man. Make sure you have a hall pass. Now that we are friends, oh. here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? What? Okay. Yes, Daryl. That schedule will be your guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. Classes are about to begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Those cutscenes were so long. I just barely got to what looks like the next gameplay section, but uh, that's all we're doing for today. So, the 20 minute limit prevents me from going any further right now. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, my final thoughts on this game, I think it could be a lot better. Um, I'm not gonna say it's meh. I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's not bad. There are lots of points in this game that I really like. Um, I think the combat is a little clunky. It's fun, but sometimes it feels really limiting. I mean, I know you get like five different skills, but at, I don't know. It just doesn't feel... Hmm, what can I say? Each skill has its own cooldown. I mean, if you run through them too fast, you're going to be unable to do anything for a split second. I know it's just a split second, so it's not a huge deal. But if it had included, like, a basic attack that was weaker but never had a cooldown, um, along with, like, maybe four cooldown skills that were more powerful, I think that would have uh, worked really nicely. Uh, I like the graphics. I like the animations. That's probably my favorite part of the game, or the uh, character animations. So funny. So funny. And the uh, the cutscene where he rescued the girl, that, that was pretty cheesy too. I liked that. But then, who, who that guy who, it looked like they were in prison? I, I'm not even sure. Or maybe at the police department? He didn't look like a policeman to me. He looked like he had a wrestler's champion belt on, or something like that. Anyway, when, uh, I guess that was like a 40 years ago, like, a flashback? That was... I think unnecessarily lengthy. Um, the dialogues uh, seems like it was it was uh, written by um, book authors. Um, now, when you read books, you can skim through all the dialogue really fast just because you're reading it. But uh, I think in a in a spoken situation with voice acting, it tends to drag on. Um, I don't know. Overall, I think the game is pretty fun, though. But yeah, this is Super Daryl Deluxe. Another thank you to the guys over at... Oh, I apologize, I already forgot the name. Dan and something... Sorry, person who's not Dan. Dan and something gaming. Oh, man. But be sure to follow me on Twitch to see live gameplay. Follow me on Twitter to see updates regarding my YouTube videos and the Twitch streams. And be sure to look out for more entries on First 20. I'm going to make a point to check out all kinds of games throughout the days. Oh, man. Dan and Gary. Sorry, Gary. Sorry, Gary. I had to look it up. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, I forgot. I have a bad memory with these kind of things. Uh, Dan and Gary Games. Sounds like it's only a two-person studio. So good job making this with just two people. If that's the case, that's really impressive. Um, I'm actually, since I got to this point, I am actually interested to see what happens next. So I will, uh, not in this video, but I'm going to make a point to keep going and see, see what else happens. I like how this this principal, vice principal, is said, he's like, he's like a robot, <laughs> Mr. Roboto. All right. See you guys. Catch you later on the next video or in the Twitch streamers.
take it easy. Oh, by the way, sorry, I just got this new setup on my computer, so I need to be sure to, there it goes, there it goes. Thank you, thank you, it works, it worked, thank you. <laughs> take it easy, guys.